acceptance of the truth is a gradual but certain process, especially for the black people of America who are victims of 300 plus years of chattel slavery. What do we mean? Well, at large, we continue to wear and flaunt the names of our Caucasian enslavers, even though these names are attached to the legacy of our enslavement. Does this make a difference in how we are viewed in this country and elsewhere throughout the world? Yes, it does make a difference. Now consider this scenario. As a black person, you're in a doctor's office waiting to be seen by the doctor. Also waiting to be seen by the doctor is a Caucasian family. The nurse comes out and calls you. Mr. Ralph Thomas, the doctor will now see you. You get up and go. Well, the Caucasian family is slightly startled because they also have the last name of Thomas. So the little boy in the Caucasian family says to his father, why does he have the same name as us? The father, the father answers, because our ancestors owned their ancestors. What other response could it be? The boy replies, do we still own them? And the father answers, no, we don't. Then the boy replies, well, father, then why does he still have our name? Well, I'll be curious to see how many answers we can come up with as black people wearing the names of our Caucasian enslavers going into 2020. But one of the things that impedes us in knowing how serious a name is, is that this world of the synagogue of Satan has done its best to keep the message of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad out of the ears and the hearts of black people to prevent us from being revolutionized into a new way of thinking about even what we think are trivial matters. And a name is not a trivial matter or else the Caucasian enslavers would not have changed our names. Now through his person and teachings, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad ardently opposed the status quo, which is the world of the Caucasian people. That's the status quo. Well, the scriptures foretell of his work in this regard. In the book of Isaiah, in the Bible, it states, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness in rivers in the desert. Now, who can refute the fact that the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is not a new reality in the earth in every area of human endeavor? As such, intelligence demands that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad state his reasons for his complete opposition to the Caucasian people's evil world. So in the Muslim program, he responded to the prevailing questions regarding what he and those who follow him wanted and what they believed. Now he states in point seven of what the Muslims believe of the Muslim program, the following. We believe this is the time in history for the separation of the so-called Negroes and the so-called white Americans. We believe the black man should be freed in name as well as in fact. By this, we mean that he should be freed from the names imposed upon him by his former slave masters, names which identified him as being the slave master's slave. We believe that if we are free, indeed, we should go in our own people's names, the black people of the earth. Now, that makes sense to anybody who cares to give this point due consideration. Now, this declaration is not only reasonable, but it demonstrates that doing such is of the highest intelligence. What are our own names? That is black people's names. 
Well, the black people's names, as we have been taught and as we know, reflects the integrity, qualities, and attributes of the divine being who originated the universe. These attributes transcend race and language because Allah is the creator of races and he's the creator of languages. So my name, Kareem, Allah, is not necessarily an Arabic name in as much as it's an attribute of God that can be expressed in any language.